Hey everybody, today we're going to check out Frostbite 2 from Audio Thing. Now, there's a lot you can do with this plugin, but first I want to show how you can use it in context because some of the things you can do with it are pretty crazy. It's a freeze delay um, so you, with reverbs and feedback and ring modulator, so you can get some really weird experimental sounds. But first off, I want to show you how you can use it to add life and some kind of uh, spark to a modern trap beat. I'm going to turn off the effects I have on right now. If you look, I just have Frostbite on three different panels here, uh, channels, excuse me. So I'm going to turn them off. It's going to be pretty basic, and then when I turn them on, it adds a lot of life to this beat. So it shows you right, real quick in real time, how you can use it to enhance your productions immediately. Let's check it out. So wow, you can really tell the difference there when I added just a bit of simple additions with the Frostbite 2, mostly using presets there. Um, so what exactly does this plugin do? Well. It's a freeze delay, ring modulator, feedback module. What does all that mean? So a freeze delay is when you play a sound and then you freeze it, and the sound continues to play. Basically, you can make a pad or an atmosphere out of something like a piano here, or like that lead that I used here. So we're going to show you how it works. I'm going to clone this track, and then we're going to go down and just play a piano sound and experiment with how you can use this plugin. So let's check it out.
Now to get rid of that sound that we have frozen now, you hear it's all the notes I just played sustained. And it gives a really nice effect. We just hit the clear button there and it unfreezes and you can get back to playing. Uh, you also notice I turned on the feedback module. It gives it a nice delay, adds a lot of motion to that piano that I was playing. So let's turn off the freeze, turn that back up. And so if you just want something subtle like this, I know the preset is called scary stuff. I'm not using that preset anymore. That's why it's not scary. Just a heads up. So we can use this just as a delay and add some nice motion to the piano. So you get some really nice, pretty feedback. You can make some beautiful textures with it. Uh, but again, scary stuff. Let's make something kind of creepy with it. So here's the piano I used in the actual song. And I'll show you the presets I used as well. So for this piano, I just used that preset called Scary Stuff. I did not touch it. And it gives it a really creepy texture with the ring modulator. So let's check it out. Let's check out some other presets with the piano and then we'll move on to the synth.
All right, let's move on to the synth. As you can hear, I'm going to default this back to scary stuff uh, for the song. And then let's go on to the synth. Now you can hear the preset I used on this added so much to it just by playing it dry and then playing it back it was kind of boring and cliche before and then it adds a really long reverb and it uses all three of those modules uh, to achieve that sound it uses the freeze the ring mod and the feedback and you notice now they are changed in order so you can change the signal chain since it would sound different if you put the freeze first or before or after the ring mod it would change the sound ultimately so you can totally rearrange the signal changes by dragging and dropping so let's check out some of the presets on the synth lead So there you can hear the really weird experimental stuff, not quite as musical, uh, but really good for effects and these kind of creepy, glitchy type sounds. Um, again, you can play around with all of these and get a huge fading out sound that just goes on forever, or you can get something a bit more delayed and playable like what I initially used. Now finally, we're going to go to uh, this final sound, which is kind of like a bell sound. And this one just is pretty subtle, but again, it gives it that kind of creepy effect. So while I'm using it like that, uh, I know when I just play the presets, it kind of can get lost and you're like, how would this sound good? So this is the example of how you can make this into something very musical and very creepy and atmospheric using some pretty basic sounds from Arturia Pigments, uh, sub bass, I didn't do any effects to that one though, uh, a loop, like a trap drum loop, the VPS Avenger lead and then a piano. So these are all very simple sounds that I simply added some Frostbite 2 to them and it changed the track completely. So if, if you want something quite musical with that soft delay in the piano, you can get something beautiful. If you want something crazy creepy uh, with those leads and with that kind of effects, the atmospheric effects and the freeze effect, you can get that as well. So definitely do not miss this one. It's a very kind of hidden gem and I love it. It's called Frostbite 2 from AudioThing. Thanks for checking it out with me. I will see you guys next time.